What's up, guys? It's Dr. Aaron Stairs here with Performance Republic Physical Therapy. And today we're going to be going over the performance therapy mentorship um, overview. Um, really, we just want to see if this is something that is of interest to you or something that you feel like you would benefit from um, as part of a continuing education course that you will receive 15 to 30 CEUs for, for attending. Um, this is a very involved course. I will say that right off the bat. We'll go over a little bit of the framework of the performance therapy uh, mentorship and kind of what all is performance therapy. Um, then we'll answer the big questions, right? Is this mentorship right for you? And what's ultimately the investment for doing this, being part of this program? So here's a little bit about my background. Um, I Before physical becoming a physical therapist, I was a Division II soccer player at St. Mary's University uh, here in San Antonio, uh, where I went on to uh, Incarnate Ward for physical therapy school. It's a physical therapy school here in San Antonio also. Um, once I finished up with my PT degree, I went on to the Institute for Athlete Regeneration, IAR, um, completed their fellowship program while working in a typical orthopedic practice in San Antonio, Texas, uh, just outside of town. Um, and then about three and a half years ago, I opened up my own practice, uh, Performance Republic Physical Therapy. And you got two pictures there, one of me and one of the gym itself. Um, and obviously, it doesn't look like a typical physical therapy clinic. And that's by design. Um, this is definitely a, a gym-based environment. And if you're going to be working with athletes, you need to put them in an athletic environment while you're treating them. Right? That's why we designed the gym the way we did. So as we go through the performance therapy mentorship, we're going to be operating off of this framework. Now, the framework here is very much so all encompassing of how you would diagnose, evaluate, and treat, and then ultimately help someone perform. And, and this red box here that you're seeing, uh, this red box really represents what you learn in PT school, right? This is how much it covers. Now, if you're going into treating an athlete and this is all you know, or maybe you've expanded this a little bit with a couple of courses, you know, you may not be doing your athlete the full service by by uh, operating off your current knowledge base. So just as a general overview here, this top line of blue, the pay management and performance enhancement, those are ultimately our two goals as a, as a physical therapist and a, a, a performance specialist, right? We wanna eliminate pain and we wanna enhance performance. Pretty straightforward. Now these first three gray boxes, this is typical what we would call in rehab, right? Pain generator. Can we evaluate and diagnose what tissue is, is hot? And then can we identify the motion segment? Can we identify the underlying root cause, which most of the time is going to be a lack of stability, a lack of strength, a lack of mobility. Um, maybe that's a joint issue, a, a, a movement issue, right? What movement compensations are occurring or what limitations are there that are the real underlying root cause of that painful segment? And then ultimately, we want to progress through motor control. And motor control is this big, broad topic we're going to get into. We have multiple um, modules dedicated solely to defining motor control, all the different components, and really how to work someone through, through a program of motor control. Um, and ultimately, what PT school doesn't give you is the detailed performance fundamentals. Um, how to work someone through propulsion fundamentals and then even advanced performance. This next blue line here, we've got structural diagnoses and functional diagnoses. Now, most of you are very familiar with structural diagnoses. This is your MCL sprain, your ACL tear, your rotator cuff tear, your all. But functional diagnosis, you may have heard many different things, right? There's many different systems of functional diagnoses out there. Um, but ultimately, a functional diagnosis should describe the movements that are compensated or at fault, not just the structure, because ultimately, structure is determined by function. The day-to-day -day function informs what the structure of the body is going to do and how it's going to form over time. So we definitely need to have both diagnoses simultaneously happening when we go through our plan of care. And underlying all of this is the biopsychosocial factors. And I know in physical therapy school and, and most of your training, you've you know learned to identify biopsychosocial psychosocial factors, right? Why they're important. Um, but maybe you haven't had the training as to how to help someone through those, how to manage those. And, and we call that athlete management in this course. 
Um, really, that's identifying limiting factors um, that are in the person's environment, but then ultimately, how do we help them overcome those disadvantages to be successful through a program? Okay, so most of that should be pretty straightforward. Um, we'll go into extreme detail on those, but ultimately, the benefit of the performance therapy landscape here, um, or the performance therapy mentorship, is going under over um, the fundamentals of performance, right? This is a major block here where we see a lot of physical therapists struggle. Fundamental performance, we define as strength and power training first. So obviously training, recovery, and super compensation. Um, but we also look at, you know, the big six lifts. We look at pushing, pulling, squat, hinge, lunge, and carry. How do we break down those motions? How does it carry over into an athlete's specific sport? And then ultimately with power, can we add speed and velocity to, or explosiveness to those motions? And ultimately we can go down into deep diving specific movement patterns that aren't listed here based on the individual sport and the context involved. And we're going to get that deep within the mentorship. Uh, but ultimately, for most of your athletes, they're going to have to uh, uh, they're going to have to deliver in these six lifts. Propulsion fundamentals. This is looking over the connection between the diaphragm and breathing, gait, running mechanics, and sprinting mechanics. Right. We're going to break things down into linear speed, so acceleration, absolute speed, deceleration, and backpedaling. How do we train those things? How what, what, how are we evaluating those things if they're off? Um, and how are we ultimately tracking their performance and enhancing performance long term? Same thing goes for multidirectional speed, learning how to set someone up an athletic base, how to shuffle, change of direction and cut, crossover and drop step, open step, even 180 and 360 turn and sprints. And then going into jumping and landing mechanics, all the different types of plyometric training. If some of these things are coming up here and you're not sure what these things are, that might be a problem if we're treating athletes because we need to know how to train these very specific uh, categories of performance enhancement. All right. And our last box here is advanced performance. Now, during our advanced performance modules, we will be going over periodization strategies and how that affects rehab and performance. We're going to go over in detail velocity-based training, post-activation potential, and how to utilize those two things to enhance performance to the next level. Um, we also go over sport and positional um, position-specific environments and demands, metabolic demands, and skill demands that are being placed on your individual athletes. And these are all things that you need to be very fluent in, not only to help enhance yourself within the clinic, whenever that's performance or rehab, but also just to have conversations with your healthcare team, which includes coaches and other trainers. Who is the performance therapy mentorship for? So this program is open to new graduate and established physical therapists. We've also opened this up to third year physical therapy students. They are also welcome. Um, if you're looking to advance your knowledge with the help of an established mentor in the performance physical therapy field, this is the program for you. All right, so what's included in this program? Well, this is a year long intensive education program like we mentioned. There's 20 plus hours of what we call baseline online content. Um, so you'll have 20 videos, about an hour long each, detailing everything that we kind of just overviewed for you with this framework. Now, on top of the baseline courses, we're going to meet twice during the course of the year long mentorship for a live weekend course, which you can attend in person or you can attend live on Zoom and still get the credits. You will have unlimited access to me, um, your mentor, you know, during the, the year of the mentorship. Um, you'll have access to me via text, email, and private Facebook group 24-7. Um, here's what the content looks like for those modules that we have online. Um, basically, they are the framework modules, the client management or behavior change modules, including motivational interviewing, coaching science, and habit stacking. Basically, how to go over someone's biopsychosocial factors and ultimately make change from those and not just identify them. The performance evaluation modules, and then the clinical modules. We have a lumbopelvic, cervicothorax, upper extremity, lower extremity, and performance integration modules, which will include evaluation and clinical reasoning strategies, manual therapy techniques, as well as advanced exercise prescription techniques included in those exercise videos, or in all of those videos, I should say. 
The performance and propulsion fundamentals are their own modules, as well as the advanced techniques for advanced performance. And we also have modules on there for cash practice setup, um, as well as if you're not interested in owning your own business, we also have negotiation skills uh, modules in, included in this course, because ultimately we want you to you know, make what you're worth as a physical therapist. Let's talk about some of the alternatives. Um, now, this course in intensity and worth is on par with residency and fellowship training. Now, fellowship training typically is going to cost you ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year, as is residency training around ten to twelve thousand dollars on average for orthopedic or sports program. It's really not feasible for a lot of students coming out of school, and really not feasible for you know established PTs who you know are, are working into their day to day life already. So let's compare that to the cost of this program, the performance therapy mentorship. The annual membership is $999. This includes all the online modules, the two weekend courses, and the one year of the mentorship. Okay, that's all included in that $999. This investment is 80% less than what residency and fellowship training will cost you. Okay. The alternate option that we offer is go attend the uh, the live course only. So the live course itself will get you 15 CEUs, but you won't have membership access. You won't have live lecture access. You won't have mentorship access. Um, you won't you know, have accountability from the group. You won't be able to ask any questions, and we're not going to oversee your implementation. Now, if that's the option that you want, you just want to attend the live course, you can do that to get the CEUs. It's going to cost you $699 per course. So if you wanted the two courses together, um, that will cost you pretty close to 1400 bucks to do those two courses uh, for those weekends. Now, for that, you might as well pay the $9.99 for the annual, get both the courses, all the mentorship, and all the lectures and online learning at your own pace for a fraction of the cost. And again, at the end of the day, you're going to end up with 30 CEUs after passing the exams. Uh, so now... The time is now to sign up, right? You're on the page already. The button's just above you to click the link to sign up, get registered, and that's it. And take care of your CEUs for the next couple of years for the next cycle, right? So I'm going to shut up now. Let's uh, get you signed up for this course. And uh, I can't wait to start working with you soon.